I'm going now to go to the new view of the a billion pixel view from Curiosity. So this is a, a panorama view at Rocknest by the Mars Curiosity. Now I found these peculiar things. I'll just enlarge it. Now this one is right here. It's a very bright metallic object and it's coming right out of the ground there. It seems to be luminous. So it's, it's like a a rod sticking out of the ground looks like a silver or something very bright. Um, now you probably see it clearer. Now I've taken a picture which I'll magnify. Now what we're coming to is now something else that looks bizarre. We've got something here that looks like it's a water trail. So usually when there's been heavy rain or water on earth it just leaves like a trail mark that's very flat and it looks like a dry creek run. Now around here we see something very circular and shiny as well. So there's two things. That circular round thing and that one that comes right out of the ground. That's bizarre. That is very bright. Now we'll enlarge here and it looks like it's a completely spherical bright luminous object with a, a bump on top. It it doesn't look like any a rock I've seen, so I'll try to enlarge that as well. The next peculiar thing is we come to a peculiar shaped rock here, and yet there's heaps of peculiar shaped rocks. So I've enlarged that one. It looks like a actually looks more like a sculpture, but most of these rocks on Mars look like bizarre sculptures in some sort of art gallery. That looks like it's got a few more things and nodules on it in a symmetrical line unusual. What we have here is guess what? It looks like a creek or the uh, remnants of where the, the creek water well run should have actually drained into. So here we see again that it looks like a dry sandy creek a bed but here we have here is what looks like brownie water that reflects light. It looks very shiny. It's got a shadow under the rock ledges there and to me that looks like water brown water um, so it looks like a very ancient creek bed and yet um, we will see these bizarre things next to it um, we don't see any life forms so we've always heard rumors as life forms there but all I see is bizarre rocks everywhere um, and the most bizarre thing about this, I'll enlarge that as well, is everything runs down and right at the lower spot we have something here that looks like a creek bed. And you'll see that re re reflective brownie sort of flat surface. There's a, a shadow under the rock ledge there as it goes on the water I think. And just as it reaches that stage there's one other bizarre shaped object there that I'll zoom into. Um, that is extremely bizarre that shape there and here is what we have that looks like water sitting in a creek bed and um, I'll enlarge that bizarre picture I see there is just really bizarre it's like a sculptured rock and I've said before there's heaps of bizarre rocks here on Mars that are blue that look sculptured but this one takes the cake and um, I've taken a few pictures there of um, that a shadow under the rock ledge and it looks as though it's a shiny surface as though it's water and here's the edge of it under that bizarre shape there and there it is I think we've we've got water I don't see any crawl marks from any animals left there or anything like that that looks bizarre that there because obviously it looks like it's been some sort of sculpture um, but I've seen strange rocks on Mars so I don't want to comment about that um, here we've got some sort of a gully but everything looks like that's water so we've got a dry creek bed there um, it seems to throw a nice shadow that looks rough like sand and what we have here looks like water there it's very shiny I haven't seen that anywhere else before and um, 
I think that's it. Now I'll zoom into that bizarre rock there. That is fantastic. That is so strange. Um, but for Mars, it's n nothing special. There's a thing sticking up there, which I'll zoom in on. But this looks as though it was made artificially. It's like some sort of a runway for water. And yet from there, I assume it would go down where that rock is straight there and there's the path. Um, we'll have a close look at th th that looks artificial that bright round thing and we found that really really bright thing sticking out of the ground that is luminous look at that that's crazy that is so bright so I'll, I'll analyze those pictures now um, and that looks fantastic that blue rock there it just looks like a sculpture Okay, I'll pause it and analyze the pictures now. Now these are the pictures that we're going to analyze. Um, this is the peculiar circular object. Just let me... This is a clearer picture of the circular object. So it just seems to be very bright. Now if I can adjust the noise reduction, color... We might get something using this technique, but usually that doesn't work, so I'll just revert it back to the original. Uh, I'll use Adjust Detail, and then Exposure. It seems to be very bright. It could be a rock, but it just looks very, very circular and luminous. Again, there's a, a lot of strange things out there, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. And um, I can't make too much out of this, but uh, it just looked a bit too peculiar the way it was sitting there. Um, the other picture I've got of that is still, you can't do much with it. That's a, a better picture from further away. It just looks like a very round, luminous object. It just doesn't look like any rocks that I've seen before, but things obviously are, are different. On here we go. We've got a clearer picture on this one. There's a, a shadow down the bottom. We can take the histogram back that way. Here we go. We start to see that f structure of it now using this technique. Brightness. Um, More down there, and it looks very, very circular, luminous. A bit too much for just to be a rock. Contrast. We might do something with contrast to come the, get the effect out of it. There it is. That works. Um, that works less. Contrast actually. Yeah, it looks very round. Now let's not spend too much time on that one. <coughs> We had this bright thing sticking out of the ground, and this was unusual. Look at it. I've never seen anything like this. It was very bright. It just looked luminous. Let's adjust the exposure. It was just sticking out like a rod. And there it is. Isn't that strange? It looks very metallic. It's got that very bright bit on top, and down the uh, bottom just looks like a cylinder. And there it is. That looks very, very bizarre. Um, I might do something with contrast. No, it it just looks too too bright to be part of landscape. So um, there it is. There. This is the next picture, which is untouched. We'll see if we can do some of the exposure on here. Color and noise reduction. Look, look how bright it is. It's just a bright ball that just sits there. Very bizarre. Now, we're coming to these bizarre shapes. Now, this was one of these bizarre shapes in landscape. Um, and we've seen a few of these shapes look like pipes. 
and yeah it's bizarre it just looks like a pipe sticking out look at it but obviously there's no other things that indicate any plumbing or any other type of things now this is where we come to that um, there's all sorts of shapes I've found in this panorama this was unusual as well this looked as though it was artificial because you've got all these shapes that are straight edges then come to this round bit here uh, I'll just try to adjust the detail on this one again I've seen many bizarre shapes so I can't really say it isn't a natural feature <clears throat> let's come to the creek bed now that's the only thing I can really say and here's that very peculiar, peculiar rock near the creek bed it just and I've seen plenty of this blue rock that has all sorts of shapes in it they're like works of art so that's why I sort of focus on it's really looks like a sculpture more than a piece of blue rock look at it. all sorts of shapes are coming out of that very bizarre but the prize catch in this analysis I think is when we come to the watering hole and there's this rock near the watering hole just has too many uh, bumps on it in one spot which m um, makes it look artificial but everything looks weird on Mars so I'm not going to spend time on that okay let's go to the water hole here we have it there it looks like we've got a bright reflection there exposure there it is we've got some reflection coming we've got shadows on the rock ledge and everything is bright and shiny and flat like water and that's what I think we've got here actually not much I can do with these pictures actually um, it was clear on the screen here we go again that one there that one there um, this is the part that leads to it just looks like a this is part of that area there's the rock ledge and what's this on top that looks bizarre um, I haven't seen these things before this is the rock ledge where the wa what looks like water and I really haven't got a clue what are these things on top of the rock ledge look at that again they could be just rocks there they are we're seeing many peculiar rocks here so I'm not going to comment um, <coughs> trying to analyze the water there it is again there's a nice shot what we have is like very reflective flat surface we've got a, a shadow under the rock ledge just exposure and there it is that to me looks like a still water hole where the water's just accumulated in there and has run down into it that's a clearer picture and that's a good picture there right there we'll see that a shadow under the rock ledge and again we've got these white things on the rock ledge I don't know what they are see what exposure can do if I, here we go okay we've got a color and noise reduction that to me looks like brown water we've got those white things on the ledge again and that to me looks like greeny brown water just sitting there and that's the shadow of the rock ledge on the water what are these white things on the edges I don't know I think what we have here is for the first time we've seen a, a pond of water everything seems to point to that um, that's that strange shaped rock which we saw next to it, that blue rock very bizarre shapes to these blue rocks I have no clue what causes these shapes to be so bizarre on the blue rocks here's one more picture now here's that bright thing, that, ah that's a good picture it just sticks out. Look at it. It's just like a 
metallic pole sticking out of the ground and it's got a shiny luminous a bulb to it with just exposure look at that that looks very artificial but we don't see anything else artificial there so on its own it's an interesting catch but it it doesn't seem to prove anything look at it it just sticks out of the ground uh, here's a closer picture of that bizarre rock look at it but on its own it doesn't show anything it just shows the typical patterns of these bizarre blue rocks um, what else we got that's one more picture of the water what I think is the water and the actual um, rock ledge near it exposure color noise reduction I think we do have a pond of water this is strange it was actually right near that um, zigzag pathway it look, looks like a a water spillway can't make much out of it just seems like a tube ok I don't want to spend too much time on that um, and this is bizarre this is that it looked like a creek a runway or a dry creek bed where water would run down exposure noise reduction and that leads right down to what looks like a pond there it is that looks like a pond we've got those white bizarre things on the rock ledge um, that's the what looks like the dry sand that leads to it or dry soil and let's go back to it just to sort of show where this this is happening so we'll enlarge the picture so you just google um, curiosity at rock nest Mars exploration program this is the uh, NASA official website and if that does not look like a, a pond of water to me and nothing else does look at it you've got dry sand leading up to it it's covered by the shadow of that rock ledge it's very shiny there and there's the edges of it and what we have is a, it's a very shiny greeny brown surface that looks like water there's a very bizarre shape just got the round thing there and everything that leads down to it and that looks like a a little and these are bizarre shapes too these are like square rectangle shapes aren't they strange and that leads down to what looks like water and that's even more strange look at that it looks very artificial but there aren't any other things here that look artificial except what looks like a dry creek bed here that looks like it's walled off in this part here we have some sort of a runway happening that looks very bizarre and then we've got this um, perfectly round thing there with a shadow and this thing that comes off top we've got one little bright thing there and then we've got that um, very extreme luminous what looks like a pole and a very luminous bright top to it like a lamp or something but that is very unusual that shape there to me I haven't seen that anywhere in any um, Mars pictures at all there's your dry runway for the water spill it seems to lead down and there's the water that's the first time I've seen water anywhere and I think that's a pond and what we have here is water okay that's all for now